down at uh, Northumberland today at Craster on Northumberland coast and we'll go for a nice coastal walk from Craster down to Low Newton by the sea and make a nice circular walk about six miles so it's about 16 degrees sometimes up here we don't get that in the summer in the distance there you should see the first port of call which is a Dunstanborough castle just in front of Mrs Metal Man is over there Craster and we parked down there two pound all day even I can't argue with that the North Sea today there's not a breath of wind and that sea looks very inviting but I tell you something even in midsummer Stick your toe in there, it's absolutely bloody Baltic. So I'll resist the temptation of going in. Oh, Mrs. Metal Man there. One of her favourite walks, this. Down to the castle, and then we go past the castle, down to Embleton Bay. What a lovely sandy beach that is. one of the top 10 walks in the country this walk stopping overnight it's uh the blue bell inn it's uh belford stopped there before really nice old coach and then tomorrow we'll have a trip over to the holy island of linda's farm I'm filming again with the uh, new GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, still no external microphone yet. Uh, there's a slight breeze getting up there now, so hopefully uh, you still should be able to hear us okay. But the castle itself was built in the early 1300s uh, by one of the, the local barons up here. Uh, him and a few others decide to rebel against the king and uh, they end up losing, so he end up losing his head here. But there's been a settlement here from uh, the Roman times and even before the Romans. So the castle is perfectly situated right on the sea and about 10 miles down the coast you've got Bamborough Castle and about another five miles further up the coast you've got the castle on Holy Island because the Abbey at Holy Island was I think it was the first recorded Viking reign and if you watch the television program the Vikings you know exactly what I'm talking about so the path out where you're following goes down underneath the castle and then we work walk further on down there to Emberton Bay it's a lovely sandy beach down there you can walk all the way along the coast down to Low Newton by the sea there's a canny little pub there like an all by the time we get there I'll have a canny little thirst on us <laughs> And one thing I wouldn't fancy doing is charging up there trying to get in that castle when people are throwing stones, boiling hot oil, spears and God knows what down it is. So I'll be walking on the old cobbles road there, a path on the other side of the castle there now. So whether that's another remnants of the Romans or not, I don't know. But an absolutely lovely walk around here and especially when you've got a day like this. So I don't know if that's a remnant from uh, World War II or not. But either way, continue on the walk. So they've got the, the castle behind us there now. And I'm hoping the tide's going out. Because if it is, we'll be able to walk down on the beach there. And I say that sea is still as anything. Mrs. Metal Man keeps threatening to go skinny dipping when we get down there. So. I better make sure I've got plenty of battery to catch it. If she does, watch this space. This is Metal Man stuck. She won't go back and she won't come forward. So she's decided to go back up. 
walk along that ridge line there and there is a little path down there I'd love to stop here come down here first light and just walk down here and just take all this in got a few people on the beach there now because I said it is midday but what an absolutely stunning place Embleton Bay and you can walk all the way along the sea shore all the way round up to Newton by the sea and what a lovely beach to walk on so there must be what half a dozen people as far as the eye can see apart from us so I've said before Jack is going to have to come up before long we've had worse days up here in the summer before now the sea is obviously over there unfortunately I think somebody's got his bearings lost because he's going the opposite way to the sea so a poor little fella looks a bit lost to me you're going the wrong way mate you need to be the opposite way go and see Mrs Metal Man that's it oh look at seen them teeth Just had a five minute break there. Let's have a quick look at Facebook. The amount of people God, complaining on there about Monday morning. Can't say what on earth I've got to be depressed about. I'm not depressed. Time for lunch. So I think uh, we'll have an hour dinner first before uh, Mrs. Metal Man does a skinny dip. Oh, so hot. Unbelievable. <laughs> We're complaining about the heat in February. But when you have your lunch, what an absolutely perfect spot to have your lunch. Somebody could tell me I'll be sat in February in a t-shirt on the beach, sunglass and a bandana on. I would never have believed them. This weather is unreal. Long may it continue. Mrs. Metal Man's absolutely loving it. And that and the white chocolate she's scoffing. <laughs> We've got a, a couple of other people there invaded our beach. And it's annoying sometimes when you sat here and you've got the whole place to yourself and somebody else comes on it. You feel like telling them, this is my beach, sod off. A really pleasant uh, lunch stop there. We'll continue the walk there now and again all the way along the beach and around the corner down there and onto Newton by the sea. Well, this day just keeps on getting better and better. More and more people are leaving the beach there now, so we've literally got it all to ourselves. We were in no rush because we're stopping at uh, Belford, about uh, seven or eight miles away. Stopped there before a couple of times with uh, Mrs. Metalman, and I also took Harry Metalman once with us when we went exploring all the castles of Northumberland. So we know what you're in for. Really nice place. Uh, nice old coaching in. And uh, we should be in for a canny meal tonight and all a few drinks. Now we're just in a great big, nice semi-circular walk. See the castle over there. And it's on a quiet day. This is superb, this. Last time we did this, uh, the tide was coming in. So we only got about halfway around and we had to turn back. But uh, I actually checked the tide times this time. So we've got plenty of time to get round the, the bay and round to Lord Newton. Possibly walk back the same way. It's uh, an absolutely stunning walk and I can understand why it's been voted one of the 10 best walks, coastal walks in the UK. It's a belter. Just at the point there now of two beers. So that's uh, Lord Newton by the sea 
over there and you can see the way we've come all the way around from Dunstanborough Castle and then about a mile further down the coastline there across to where the car's parked so what an absolutely belter of a day great walk we'll be out again first thing tomorrow morning if we get weather like this it's going to be absolutely bliss so we'll be doing at Holy Island tomorrow got to check the ties as well because what we don't do is get cut off on there this metal man has kindly treated me to half cider God, very nice of her for that half <laughs> what an absolutely stunning walk back slight breeze getting up there now with sun still in our faces and uh, again almost got the beach to ourselves lovely at the end of the walk there straight off the beach straight into the pub unfortunately Mrs Metalman was buying so we had a half each typical it's one of them days you just don't want it to end it's been absolutely perfect today and the good thing is we're going to do it all again tomorrow really enjoy this and i know mrs metal man has as well even though she's marching away there <laughs> i think she can uh, smell fish and chips i think second battery there now so just as mrs metal man was going to do a skinny dip the battery went so by the time i changed it put a new one in she'd been in come out again having said that what a magnificent sight it was as well mrs metal man struggling her legs are aching final push final push <laughs> we'll final look at the castle and in its day, it must have been one fantastic sight. If there's a bench to find, <laughs> she'll find it. Yes. So I've really enjoyed today. So hopefully, you've stuck around and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.